Bob. James Mason, formerly with the Met, rumors of excessive violence against suspects, suspended, then fired. Currently being sued for false imprisonment and torture. My contacts say it's a cert he'll be convicted. We're looking at a desperate man. He's bluffing. We'll soon find out. You're gonna hand over a million. Just like that. Drop in the ocean if he really has found it. Ah, Mrs. Farrell. Hardware. Get it out. My pleasure. One million. Has agreed. Question is, can I trust you? <laughs> Do you have a choice? Thanks. I could have you stripped and tortured until you tell me what I want to know. Then have you strangled and dump your body in the bay. And I get away with it. But I'm a businessman. All I want is what's mine. She hit it on her neighbor's cat. Clever girl. How the fuck? Booyah! Booyah! Mason, you can piss off with your doll. I'm gonna show your fucking face around here again. Put that down, Kelly. Jesus Christ, Kelly. Kelly. Go! Sorry, but you had that coming. This is, uh... We had planned. You're right, Mason. It's what I planned. Oh, shit. Uh. 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 Somewhere, Marshal. Some other time, Tyler. Oh, you want to hear this? Before the guardie do. How about offering me a drink? Resting. Ran, I was hoping to find you alone. See, I've been thinking about you, Kelly. A lot, in fact. I think I understand you a bit better now. I think I understand what it is that makes you tick. You're trapped in a marriage you can't get out of. If Farrell catches you straight and you'll be sent back in with nothing. Tell me something I don't know. You saw a chance of something real with Skyler. 
So real, you had to escape Farrell, but to do that, you needed money. Skyler had money. She was on a great salary. Not enough to get out of Dodge and disappear someplace Farrell would never reach you. For that, you needed serious money. But where to get that amount of cash? You never be able to access a Farrell's <sighs> bank account. Nah. You needed to win the jackpot. And fast. <sighs> well, my guess is, it's just a guess, is you got Skyler to copy the prototype with the notion of selling it to the competition. It would set you two up for life. Now that went against all that Skyler believed in, but you made sure she understood. If there was to be a future for the two of you, she'd have to do it, and she did. But there were two glitches. Glitch one, Nick Egan, probably working late, always trying to make an impression. He thought he did the jackpot when he took these. You and Skyler caught in the act. To ensure himself against you coming after him, he told you the photos were hidden online where you'd never find them. What he didn't realize was by doing so, he made himself a target and, yeah, you took him out. Which brings us to Glitch 2. Skylar's conscience. When Nick was killed, she realized why and who did it, you. So there she is, she's caught between the person she loved and doing the right thing. In the end, she did nothing. Thanks for sharing, Jack, but where's the evidence? Believe me, I'll find it. Jesus Christ. to disappear. You like to think you're on the side of the angels, Jack. But you've got a much darker heart than you care to admit. Not dark enough. Shame. You okay? Yeah. Saving your life. Wake up. I know I'm saving yours. I fit right off. I'm not happy about this, Jack. This fella's getting more and more involved. I like it. it suits me. Well, I hate to say it, but the boy's got potential. Jack! No, no, I'm with you. He should focus on his studies. Dr. Noonan's got a nice ring to it. Breaks your heart, though. What does? These cases. Look at Skylar. So kind to Nick. Gets him a job. Only for Nick to witness her thing with Kelly and the cowgirl takes him off. Skylar must have been racked with guilt. Organizing the book of condolences, the get-together, sending flowers to his father. And then Skylar's killed. Breaks your heart. Flowers? Excuse me? He said Skylar sent flowers to Nick's father. Well, according to Skylar's credit card details, she sent flowers to Egan a few days after the funeral. What kind of flowers? No idea. Can you find out? Why? Oh, it's probably nothing but... <clears throat> Kian, hi. Skylar Garvey. Sent How's Mason doing? It takes more than two bullets to kill Lucifer. Okay, thanks. Twenty-one long-stemmed white roses. Are you gonna enlighten us? Later. I have to go visit someone and tell them who murdered their only son and why it happened. Anthony asked if you guys would like to join us for dinner tomorrow evening. Sure. 
Jack? I'll check my diary. John? Oh, Jack. Can I have a word? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, why don't you come in? letting her get away. Justice is done now. They've both paid for what they did to Nick. Skyler had nothing to do with Nick's death. That was all, Kelly. Sounds to me like they were both in it together. I don't think they were. Thank you for coming. Skyler was a decent person. She felt very bad about what happened to Nick. Yes, and, and so she should have. She never show up here in person. No. Yet she sent you flowers after Nick's funeral. Yeah. So what? White roses that you binned. Why? Who cares? Maybe I didn't like the fucking smell. There's something that you're bottling up. What is it? She did show up here, didn't she? John, you can tell me. Thank you for the flowers. You didn't have to. I, I did. But I should have done more. Ah, uh, no. <clears throat> um, I didn't know your son very well. But uh, he was always very friendly and uh, helpful. God, this all sounds so trite. Um, but I mean it. He really was a decent guy. And he didn't deserve to die. Things are confused. But somebody told me, if you want to know what's morally right, listen to your stomach. So I listened to my stomach. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I, this was a mistake, Mr. Mr. Egan. Forget I came here. Forget about me. Oh, wait a minute. What do you know? Does this have anything to do with Nick's debt? It's nothing. I shouldn't have come. What is it that you know? Nothing. Uh, Tell me. Do you know who killed him? Do you? Yeah, you know. Did you kill him? No. But if it hadn't been for me, then he, he wouldn't have... Who did it? Uh, look, I can't. I... Let me go! Tell me! Tell me now! Oh! <laughs> It was you, wasn't it? No. No! You bitch! not a bad person. 
I'm not. I never meant. It just happened. You were a good man, Jack. Like your father. You understand. I don't deserve to go away for this. Please, help me. Detective Noonan. John Egan has a story to tell you. Yeah. Bring your coughs. some Tai Chi retreat bollocks. And Anthony's come down with the flu. Did Egan confess? Didn't need much prompting. Scared senseless. I sent her to her death. Skylar advised her to do what she felt was right. However hard it was. Couldn't have known. No, no, I couldn't have. It still made me feel like the rat in the belly of the beast. Are you ready to order? Settle for a bag of crisps. Cheap date, huh? I know what I like. Well, that sounds like a compliment. Better check your hearing, so. <laughs> I've missed this. <laughs> <laughs> 